Hopefully this works. So, hey new and old friends. I gotta make this kind of quick because I don't know how much longer this battery on my camera has because I haven't charged it in God knows how long. But I kind of just wanted to make a quick little vlog about kind of like an update on how things have been going since I've been here in Seattle since the last time I posted was my travels to Seattle. Just a quick little rundown. Uh, I moved here, packed up everything uh, that I knew in my comfort home zone of Texas with my family and my friends and everybody that I knew uh, was in Texas in a small little town called the Harlingen and it was great. Pretty packaged little bow of a wrap up. I, draw I graduated with my bachelor's but I uh, dropped out of my master's degree uh, to pursue something that I really loved and wanted to do and I was so passionate about and so eager and ambitious to start which was streaming full-time being an entertainer uh, just trying to do something that I love doing literally anything in the video game realm is what I wanted to do what to do since my move here the move alone was crazy difficult uh, I got sick during part of it uh, at the end of it, I got incredibly homesick and totally crushed when my sister and my half-brother, whatever you want to call him, left uh, and when they went to the airport and when they flew away, it was difficult. Like, I mean incredibly difficult. And being away from them if, during this time, especially because it's Thanksgiving, it's the holidays, um, being away from my family in which I consider like close best friends to me, uh, I've always been like that. It's so hard and it's so painful. And since I've been here, though things haven't picked up as quick as I would like for them to have had done, or blah, I don't know if I wore that right, but since I've been here, I can't say that I've done nothing, and which is what I have been feeling for a couple weeks now, is I felt like I've done nothing. Since I've been here, all I've been doing uh, is just moping and being like, please poor me, like all of these things. and. I got a job now that I'm able to pay. I mean, it's not the job that I want, uh, but it's a job I need in order to pay the bills. Because I mean, like, I though I live here and I moved here all on my own, like I still have bills to pay, you know? Like, those things don't just disappear. But I can't say I haven't done anything because I have. I have had the incredible opportunity to work with brilliantly hilarious funny kind uh, warm individuals um, that were so that gave me a crazy opportunity to grow um, and uh, some of you uh, might be here watching this because of them and that's awesome like hello welcome and I'm glad that you're here and I will never be able to repay and thank them enough for you know, welcoming me with open arms um, because, I mean, they gave me such an incredible experience. Uh, it was an eye-opener for me. It was, uh, I've been down on my luck. I've been very like, what am I doing here? Am I even doing the right thing by being here? Like, did I make a big mistake uh, by moving here by myself? Was everybody that said that it was a bad idea, were they right? But anyway, everybody since I've been here has kind of opened my eyes to knowing what I want to do. And like, since I've been here, the, in the experiences that I've had since I've been here, like, it's been a wake up call of a Monica, though things aren't going as fast as you want, they're not progressing as fast as you want. Um, it doesn't mean that you made a mistake. And I, Oh, people would always tell me, don't listen to what other people think about what your life is or what you want to do or whatever the case is. But in my head, it's also don't listen to what I like. Don't listen to myself um, because I have my own inner demons uh, that are telling me I can't do it. I don't have the personality. I don't have the looks. I don't have like these quote unquote status quo of what it takes. I have been incredibly fortunate to have had so many supportive people in my life and um, my main concerns when I started all of this was that I was so scared that my parents and my family and my friends and everybody that I loved was going to be so like, uh, that's a stupid idea, you're dumb, but they weren't. Like, I have, and the people that were, I removed them from my life because I don't need that. I don't need those kind of people telling me I can't do it because I'm already telling myself in my head that I can't do it, so I don't need anybody else telling me I can't. 
I have the people that are surrounding with me right now uh, are telling me I can't do it and Monica get up stop moping get up and do something get up and like go walk outside go do something with your vlog go do something with that work on like Photoshop whatever the case is they're always telling me to get up and move I am blessed to have that and especially and like you guys too I mean I was gonna make a periscope about this because normally when I feel this way I just kind of periscope you guys and you guys kind of like talk me out of it and tell me like everything's gonna go be okay and I don't know how to thank you enough because those really do help like they <laughs> truly I can't even express to you they really do help like your words help I just wanted to make this because it's on a deeper level and not so much only for you guys and for whoever may come across this video but for myself too um, so that further down the line whether in a week from now or a month from now or a year from now or whatever the case whatever timeline from now I can look back at this video whether I was successful at what I wanted to do or whether it wasn't exactly what I wanted but I got somewhere along the lines I know I'm not failing because I tried and I think that even if you try at something and you try at a the best that you possibly can. You can't fail. Um, especially if you've got the love and support of other people helping you and pushing you up. And I know that maybe some of you don't have that, but I don't believe that because even if I don't know you and even if like you just joined and you're like a new like a new cub to this like little adventure and whatnot like I still care and I am still 100% supportive of whatever it is you want to do whether you want to be an entertainer or you want to stream or you want to be a model or uh, win a hot dog eating contest or a doctor or um, have a baby have a family whatever it is if people are telling you you can't do it and you don't have anybody that's telling you you can I am telling you you can do it whatever it is that you want to do you always have a supporter in me in me <laughs> but I'm serious I don't know what Seattle is gonna bring for me. It may bring a shit crazy, like whole new crazy chapter. It may bring like I don't even know what, like unfathomable things. It may bring nothing, uh, and I need to be prepared for it bringing nothing. But I am eager and ambitious, and I am still hungry but no serious I'm still hungry for the opportunities that I know I can achieve if I just keep pushing and I think that's what it is too is that right now it's incredibly hard I'm homesick I am broke I am struggling with everything else that's coming at me and it's rough but I know I have faith um, in myself um, the people that are supporting me believe in me um, so your harsh you are your harshest critic and I am my harshest critic on everything that I do I always want to be better and do better and if there is anything that you take out of this video is that you though the cliche you can do anything you put your mind to and it sounds stupid, but you need to embrace the struggles. And I've talked to the people that love me, uh, my family and stuff like that, about how it's hard. One of the things that when, um, my family has said is that embrace the struggles because they're going to make you who you are every step of the way. It's like a little building block. It's like a little molded clay thingy. You're just molding yourself into what you are supposed to be. So I'm taking that and I'm gonna run with it. And it's been hard and I've second thought literally everything that I've done. But then when I second guess everything and when I'm really down on myself, then I either periscope or I like tweet or I do something and it's something small or something that somebody says that kind of wakes me up and it's like, this is why. This is why you're continuing and doing this is because it's what you love and you love um, I love you and I love gaming and I love this that what we have and that's why I'm doing it and that's why I will continue doing it and that is the only sappy thing that I will bring because it's not a sad sappy vlog this is an inspirational vlog and I want you to be inspired 
to move past your demons and the people telling you no and do what you want to do and don't let anybody tell you otherwise and if you don't have anybody I you have me now and I will always be there um, so whether I become a bum or not whether I end up um, working at limited two once it comes back the rest of my life or whether I achieve what I want to do and be a full-time streamer and an entertainer uh, I took that from Rant Link by the way it's fucking great you can do whatever it is you want and I will be there for you so anyway I will stop talking about the inspirational gabber giver blah blah blah, blah. so I just wanted to tell you all that stuff I adore you guys old and new hello again <laughs> we will support you always we got your back right Evie this is my dog Evie for those that are new and don't know who she is she is um, my fur kid and she's amazing and uh, she's a little chubby right now we love you we support you we are you biggest cheerleaders if you don't have a cheerleader you have one now go team <laughs> So I love you guys and I can't wait to see uh, where we go, whether good or bad, whether it's successful or um, whether it's where, wherever it takes us, wherever this journey takes us, whatever it may be, whatever Seattle wants to give me, whatever life wants to give me, um, let's see where it goes. I love you guys and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.